Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. Every few years, Mac users get a peek at the future, sort of a peek into the crystal ball. It's when Apple releases their next operating system, and today is that day. It is our first look at Leopard. This new version of Apple's operating system has over 300 changes and additions from the previous release. In my opinion, this release is all about management, meaning how we and the operating system manage a vast collection of data that we're now accumulating on our computers. But this is not just the release of a new operating system. It's also the first new release for Intel native computers, like this MacBook, which boasts an Intel Core Duo processor. It's one of the fastest laptops I've ever used, and Leopard takes full advantage of the incredible capabilities of the Intel chipset. So let me share a peek at that future with you, and we're going to start with the changes in the way we organize and see all of our stuff. The desktop is where we're going to begin. And in the bottom of the Mac desktop is the dock. The dock is where we store all of our common applications and files that we need quick access to. And Apple's changed the look and the feel of the dock. And this really speaks to the whole Macintosh experience. If I open up a page in, say, a web browser and move it down through the dock, we can see the dock is partially transparent and partially reflective now. Now, this doesn't really make a difference in how we work with the computer, but it speaks to the sophistication and the elegance of the operating system. System. And Mac users come to expect this kind of user interface and this kind of experience. Now, one of the real substantial changes to the dock comes when we reach the end of the dock here when we look at some of the different folders. First of all, they've added a download area so that all of the files that get downloaded onto our computer get stored in this one file so it's easy for us to find. They're not spread all over the desktop making a mess of things. Now, this is the first big interface change. When I click on this, we now have stackable folders. In other words, we can tell all of the folders on our dock to stack the documents instead of having to open up a full window so we can quickly browse through and see a graphical representation of the files that are stored in there. Now, that graphical representation carries on in other ways. When we take a look and browse through a folder, we can see thumbnails that basically indicate the contents of each and every document or folder within. So instead of seeing icons that say, this is an Excel spreadsheet, this is a PowerPoint document, this is a Word document, this is a PDF we can actually kind of have a peek inside. So this is much more like having a stack of file folders on your desk, leafing through them and looking for the document that you're looking for, identifying it visually instead of by the name of the document. It gives us that much more control and it makes it that much more natural an experience to work our way through. And we see that continuing when we go into Finder. Now, Finder is our file management area. This is where we typically go in and create our folders and manage all of our documents. And this is a classic view of Finder here, where we see different file folders. And we can change the view, we can change how we see the information with these buttons along the top of the Finder window. So we can go from a classic folder view to a list view. And these are things that are in all operating systems. We can view our documents in different ways in our files. We can go to a cascading view where we can actually have the folder and then each of the children folders and the documents that are nested in each folder cascading out. Now it changes. A brand new way of looking at all of our documents called CoverFlow. Now this is based on Apple's technology that they've put in to iTunes, allowing you to browse through all of your music interactively. Now we can look at all the files and all the folders within any folder just by browsing back and forth. And we see a graphic representation of those files. And if I move the mouse over top of any of the documents, if it's a multi-page document, I can page through the individual pages of that document. And this is for every file type, for PDFs, for presentations, for Word documents, for Excel spreadsheets, all the way through to have a video here. I can play the video in CoverFlow and actually see the video playing. So we're able to look at the contents of the document without ever launching the application. And this carries through, not just through CoverFlow, but through other areas of Finder. If I select any of the documents within the folder down below, or even go into a different view, say we go to list view, and I take a look and I say, I want to see this photograph here, I can just hit the space bar, and it opens up in something called Quick Look. And Quick Look allows me to view the contents of the file again without launching the application. This is a very powerful management tool for viewing your information and finding the information you want. Now, control over our environment is a big theme within this operating system. And the next 
tool I want to show you is called Spaces. Now what Spaces are, it's actually taken from the Linux world where we have multiple desktops. If I launch Spaces, we'll see that the computer screen gets divided, in this case, into quadrants. Now you can determine how exactly the computer screen gets divided, but essentially each of these quadrants now contains all sorts of related information. So applications that are productivity applications like Excel and Word and maybe our email, we can collect all in a single quadrant. And if you want, you can move files from one quadrant to another just by dragging them like this. Now what this ends up doing is allowing you to gather all the things that you want to work on, say, to do an expense report on a single desktop and still have another desktop where you're working on some video or some music and having the related applications there. You don't end up with kind of cross-pollination of windows over top of windows trying to organize and trying to find all of your data. This gives you a nice structure to the projects that you're working on. This is maybe best explained if we go into the Spaces Preferences where you'll see that we can actually modify exactly which applications open in which of our desktops and we can modify and control all of that so we can structure our workflow so that the proper applications open on the desktops that we want. Now you can quickly get a feel for how many new ways there are to manage and to visualize our data now. Each of the features that we've looked at are new ways to interact with the information on our computer, with the different ways that the computer now fits in our lives, for work, for family, for home and entertainment. All of these new ways to organize, new ways to see information, new ways to find our data are going to become increasingly valuable. Want more information on the products we've covered on today's show? Then check out our new website. We've got podcasts, streaming video, and a searchable database going all the way back to our first season. Check it out at dottotech.com.